Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory. In our last episode, we set up the assemblies here for filters and the iodized... iodine infused filters. I always have to look the name up because it's slightly off the way my mind thinks of it. Uh, using this rather complicated... Um, split off. We did, um, we brought in everything. Uh, we don't have coal, which we talked about the last time. I'll bring that in toward the end, and that'll turn on both these machines. But we, we brought in everything by doing the pass under on level 3, and then bringing everything back up, curving it in, and passing it through. And I thought, I think that, even though it's complicated, and it, and it has a little bit of a spaghetti feel to it, it also works really well. And it also looks kind of cool too like all those belts coming you know under and then coming coming together and merging in kind of thing like it kind of really has the feel of a sort of a, a a bus with a local bus so the next thing we're going to set up is um uh, gee i forgot already beacons and cartridges because the cartridges need the beacons and we're going to do this almost the exact same thing, really. Uh, cartridges need... I guess I should look at that one. Cartridges need the beacons, of course. As well as black powder. And rubber. And steel pipe. We have to bring all of those in. So that's uh, f four items in for cartridges. And for beacons, I believe it's also four items. I think it's plates, rods, cable and wire yeah so we have uh we're gonna have eight items coming in on this side of this one so this is gonna actually be interesting um yeah this is gonna be fun <laughs> so we have the output here which means we need to have the input for these here and they are set on just next to the um just next to the divider so i'm gonna put that here it's an input. That's just a marker. And then these, if I remember how they're positioning correctly, you position it so that the, the feet are just outside of the foundation. Like that. And then, of course, you do the merger that, that lines up with the center of the output side. And that's how those those are positioned, as we as we recall, hopefully, from last time. We're going to do the, the regular beacon recipe. The crystal beacon recipe... Um, uses fewer overall items, at least. I'm not sure about the consumption of like, iron ore and stuff. It's probably cheaper even on the iron ore front. But it uses the crystal oscillator. And if you recall, we set up one crystal oscillator manufacturer way the heck down there, that I can't even target because it's so far away, dedicated for the making of the rigor motors. And while we could do the same thing here and set up a single manufacturer making the crystal oscillators, it's just a lot of effort for something that you really don't use that many of. Um, I mean, yes, this makes 20, 20 beacons, 10 beacons per minute, but this makes 7.5 beacons per minute, so it's not that much slower. And yes, it uses a lot of ingredients here, a lot of raw ingredients, like 112 and a half wire, but I'm not worried about it. It's these these we don't use these that much. Most of the time when they get used, they get used in the um the 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 cartridges and you know a few to go out and mark something out in the field or whatever. So there's not a whole lot of use here. And so I'm not going to bother with the um the fancy recipe. Okay, so and then otherwise here we have a, another manufacturer that's going to make the cartridges themselves. Uh, which are the rifle cartridges. And of course they take the beacons. Steel pipe, black powder, and rubber. Uh, 30 each per minute plus 3 per minute of those. So we're going to have on this thing here, instead of the 6 or so that we had, 5 or 6 we had over here, we're going to have 8 things coming in uh, to this because all 4 of these are coming in. Uh, and, then all, and then all 4 of these because this one's going to come out onto the bus and then come back in. So we need to set up eight lines coming in. And so we need to look at where everything's coming from. Um, we just look at here on my cheat sheet. So iron plates and iron rods are on C5 and C6. 
Cable is on C8, and wire is on C13. On top of that, we have... I've already forgotten, sorry. Pipes, black powder, and rubber. Um, pipes are on... A8. Black powder is A5. And rubber is... Rubber is C12. And then beacons are going to go on to the bus here, which are going to be on probably D10. So we have to pass one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those eight items through on level three, which means this is going to be a very wide version of this because this was only three items on the pass through. We need to pass seven through and, um, and then bring them all back together again in the single feeder bus. And, of course, I could probably do a double feed bus or something like that, but that's no fun. So, um, looking at this, uh, it makes sense to put the beacons on, to keep the beacons on level 10 and put everything else below it. So, we need to have some one thing on 3, which will come straight through. One thing on 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's six items. Which means that one of them is going to, have to go back up to. Well, we could do. Yeah, one of the things is going to have to go back up to, all the way back up to 11 because the beacons are on 10. So, in fact, maybe I should put the beacons on 11. That way I don't have to pass by stuff. So, yes, I will put the beacons on 11. I've talked myself into it. And I'll put the novelists then on 10 because they're just going to go into them all. Um. So they'll just kind of go through here. So we need to start this setup, which is going to be fun. So uh, pipes can come through first since they're coming from A. Oh, what else is coming from A? Anything else? I had all these selected in my cheat sheet. Uh, my spreadsheet I'm doing this in, and I've deselected them mistakenly. And now I need to find them all again. Let's see. It was iron plates, iron rods, cable, and wire on the first one. And then beacons, rubber pipes and I forget <laughs> oh brain why you were network uh, black powder right duh black powder okay so I need to bring from a black powder and pipe let's go ahead and get that one started I think and I'll probably just bring one of those across on three I think that makes the least the least uh, amount of crazy sense. Um, so this one is here. I think that's where my mark goes. That's three for that one. And then we need to have... So that would be a splitter here. Uh, no. Pipes come from... Wait, where do pipes come from? Pipes come from down there. Uh, black powder comes from... Also from down there. Okay. So, let's see here. Pipes or black powder. It doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe I'll do black powder. One, two, three, four, five. There. And then pipes. Zero. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. This is bad positioning, and I ran out of plates. What is this here? This is pipes. Okay, so pipes cannot go right here. Pipes need to be over another another set. Let me grab some of these plates. Oh, pipes are right here. Oh, okay. I was thinking they were down there somewhere. Um, so pipes... No, plates. That's what I needed. Plates. We're using so many plates. Crazy. Grab a few hundred here. Well, 270 or so. That'll hold us off for a few minutes. Okay, so pipes can definitely not be in one of these positions. Which means the pipes needs to be over here then. Which is fine. Zero. One, two, three, four, five. Please. Six, seven, and eight. Uh, wait a minute. Other way around. Eight. This comes all out. Oh good, I didn't hit that wire by accident. That would have been bad if I had if I had hit it and not noticed. Alright. Um, what did I do? 
deleted the wrong thing is what I did. All right, Wally. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how I managed to do that, but you all know me. Okay, so this is a Mark III belt. I think that was all the pipes we actually had was Mark III anyway. Pipe. Yeah, 260. So I don't need to recalculate anything here because this, this is fine the way that it is. You go here. You go there. And then that can come down and make the turn. Or come down to three, I should say. It doesn't need to make any turns. Here, let's bring this one down. I'm not going to count numbers just yet. Or count, uh, yeah, quantities just yet. But that'll make the turn there. So those are the two from A. They're in the center and one to the... Well, I don't know if you count that as left or right. I guess probably left. And then we need iron plates, iron rods, cable, rubber, and wire from C. So these come through here. Uh, they're going to be roughly one, two, three. Here, okay. One, two, three. I'm just going to put in a... Oh, should I? I probably shouldn't. I'm not going to. Okay, so those two spots are consumed. Now, C is here. And C needs to have a splitter. I will start at the bottom, I guess. Iron plates. Uh, let's see. You are... Let me put a, put a dummy splitter in right here. That'll mark the position for the center. The plates, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then rods are zero, one, two, three, four, six. Cable is eight. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's three to the one side and then one to this side. So we'll put in also a spacer for this one, just for posterity. And then uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's rubber. And then we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and finally thirteen. And that is wire. Yes. Rubber. Okay, good. Uh, we have cable, rods, and plates. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And then the final item, of course, is the uh, beacons themselves that'll come across at whichever level it is that I don't remember. And we'll come, uh, let me see, I don't have it marked. Oh, I do have it marked, Third, uh, 11. So zero, one, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. That must be there, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So that's the uh, that's the final one, and that one's just going to come down to. Uh, oh, that's one's going to come straight across. That's going to be coming down. Okay. So we are over here, not over, not where I was standing, but over here instead. Hopefully, this is all still lined up properly. This is. Well, here, I have it misaligned, but that's fine. That spacing is correct, though. Okay. So, that looks like a horrible spaghetti mess. But in fact, as we found out before over here, it works out surprisingly well. So, uh, let's see. 
these guys come across to position three. Um, these are actually in the wrong spot, I think. I should be here. Take them out. Because this stackable here, well, three is, the center one, rather, is going to go straight in. So that's a bad example one to, to put up first. Let's do this one instead. Three. This one is going to go up to five, which is the shortest stackable. And that is pipe. And this was something else. Did I not put in... I didn't put the belt in. No? Yes? No? Good. Okay. Uh, what was this? I've forgotten already. Like, my brain is broken today. Black powder. We don't have it down this far. I should probably bring it down. Uh, that's right there. That's a Mark One belt. Right. Uh, that's on... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three... Five, and then you go into there, and then that's where it ends. It's not a mall use. It goes to cartridges and nobelisks. Nobelisks are going to be over here a little bit, so it'll get split off and fixed later. Okay, so that's that one. Hopefully that works. But that one's actually going straight in to the second uh, machine there. Are they moving along? There, 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 right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so that one's five. Uh, this one... These are all coming down still to level three, so we're going to set them up. One, two, three. With a split or a stack... A, a, a lift. Oh, jeez. To six. I hope that is correct. I guess I just need to do all of these just like this. Five, six. I'm just going to kind of maybe do an alternating pattern here. I think that'll look nice-ish. If I can get it to hit there. Six. Seven. And we get a problem. These ones over here need to be the lower ones because of this because it's so wide and that's there so I need to change all of these these come out this one's gonna be five now this one will be six and hopefully seven will fit here. Like that. Yes, it does. Because that one is at eight, I think. D eight is filters. D seven was quickware, yeah. So that one's at eight. That's why that works. Those are the filters. Even though they don't look like it. Hope that's lined up correctly. Okay, so that was seven. And then we have here five, and six, and seven, eight. Nine. Can I do it? Five, six, Seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Oof. Okay. So all those are there, and then finally that one will split off and come down here. Actually, I could take it probably from that splitter up to there, and I probably should, actually. Okay, so that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, 
Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong spot. Take these all out. Be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang it. Okay, we can take some of these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that, of course, needs to be replaced with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. see it was two above okay so that's good now these all need to be turned and, and snagged here or they could be snagged this might be better Snag them here. Six, seven. And then this one is here. That way the, because the, the thought here is these two are going to stick out l less far, English Molly, than that is. So it's sticking out into the walkway, driveway, whatever way. Uh, and I think this is better this way, even though it requires twice as many stackables. Um, yell at me if you feel if you feel that it's wrong in the comments. Okay, so those go from here to there, and that one's fine. That one's already where it needs to be. This one goes here. Can't afford more. Oh, let's uh, delete some of these. Now I can't see because it's dark. And these belts all need to be corrected yet. You. There. You. There. And then that one's fine. So those will all come in just like this. Uh, we need to bring... We need to fix all these belts. Mark 1, Mark 1, Mark 2 for cable. Uh, total cable cons uh, production here is well I guess we can start with iron rods total production or iron plates total production is 41 point uh, no sorry uh, 113 so actually that's a mark 2 but 41 goes to Where are those coming in at? Over here. But that definitely needs to be upgraded at some point. Uh, let's see. 56 go to stitched iron plates. 15 go to beacons. Yeah. So this needs to be upgraded to a Mark II. Here. And then... Here. With a Mark I... You don't belong there. The Mark One here. Uh, Rod's total production is 48, with five going to beacons, so that's fine as a Mark uh, Mark One belt, and it actually stops there um, because I need to delete these things too. I'm not confused by them. Um, it actually stops here because the rest of them, the 43, go to the mall, which is that way. And then finally we have cable. Cable production, total production is 100, so that's a Mark II belt. 10 of them come here to beacons, and the other 90 go to, um, 
The other 90 go to the mall. So there's no reason this belt even needs to come, or Mark II needs, even needs to come this far. Uh, since the mall is going to be no further than here, I guess I should leave that one there. But we'll just put in a Mark I from here into there, and then that's where that one stops. Next up is rubber. Now let's see, rubber. 60 are going to the mall out of a total production of 360. Uh, no, 360 doesn't count. Um, 210 coming up to up here. The other 150 stay down and, and make recycled plastic. Um, so 60 of them pulled off at the mall. So now we're down just under a Mark III. Or, now we're still a Mark III belt. 210 minus 60 is 150. And then if we take off 30 rubber for cartridges, that's 120. So, this here is a Mark III still up until this splitter. And then can be a Mark II after the splitter. All right, and then finally we have wire. Oh, uh, let's see, fused wire is there. Wire is right there. 270 total, so that's a full um, Mark three belt. 113 was going to stitched iron plates. Uh, 75 is coming to beacons. Insulated cable got the 45. They actually, uh, so actually the only 225, yeah, only 225 is actually coming along this belt because the 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 group that went to um, the cables is pulled off right away. So this belt goes here into the uh, um, stitched iron plate. So if we say 225, we take, uh, what was it, 75? 75 off of that, that's still 150, which is still a Mark III belt from this point. Three, or after this point, I should say. So that's fine. Oh, I didn't take into account what goes into the mall. Uh, only 26.8 goes into the mall, so that's still a Mark III belt, because that's just under, or just over 120. Free belt, please. Thank you. It's after here that it ends up dropping down for the last couple things. And Nobelisk is there. Um, oh, no, sorry, not the Nobelisk. The uh, battery is there. And that's actually it. Yeah, because we were at uh, one... Just over 120, and then 113 go to stitched iron plates, and then 11 go to battery. So that's that's right. Okay, so that's uh, bus C prefigured. And then we need to refigure bus A. No, we already did bus A. Okay, good. So I can take out all of these stackables. Here, I'm going to do them one stack at a time, though, because I don't trust myself that much. I'm going to leave that one for right now, because it may be necessary for... Uh, to bring in the uh, as, as a midpoint or whatever you want to call it for the for the powder but we can hook the pipes up here we can hook the whatever oh I gotta bring these down <laughs> um I guess I need lifts to or stackables to mark where these go I think those are right. Yeah, I think so. It goes here. Three. This is where these elevators come down to. And I still didn't do the math on what's coming this way. 
Thank you for making the noises. Except for you, because apparently you don't. One comes down there. One comes down here. Take these guys out now. Okay, I will try to trust myself a little bit. There. Oops, get off there. And you. Alright. So then this one goes, that short stretch to go underneath belt, uh, bus D. Bus D. Uh, did I mess that one up? Apparently I did. One of these is messed up. Is it you? How can I tell? Are there arrows on these things? Oh, there's an arrow on the belt. This one's messed up. Why? How did I mess this one up? Oh, because I mispositioned the thing? I don't know. Try that again. You? Go there. Okay, that's why it didn't click make noise before, because I had it wrong. And then this one goes in here. And... That one. That one. Oh, that's it. Excellent. And then this one is going to come across. I need to move this... This one. Let's go there. Okay. So, first things first. Plates, rods, wire, and cable. Oh, good God, where are they all at? Uh, there's wire. Wire's up there on 10. Rods, plates, cable. Okay, so it's 5, 6, 7, and 10. I can do those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Leaving the first one on the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so five is he here somewhere. Okay, it's there. Uh, goes into there. Six. Nope, that's not you. Six. I cannot see that. Nope. Uh-oh. What did I do? I changed a belt. Who did I change? I changed wire. Careful. Gently. There we go. Seven and ten is up here. Can't afford. Go we'll get some more plates. Oopsie. There. Yep. Time for more plates. Uh, let me think. Let me look. Hold on. Let's see here. Uh, beacon. Wire actually needs to be a Mark II everything. So let's fix that now. Starting from here. Here. Here and here. And then I might as well hook these guys up. And then this is a Mark I. Mark 1 and Mark 1. Hopefully that's everything. I'm going to go grab a few more uh, iron plates or uh, steel, whatever they are, plates, coated, steel coated plates. There they are. Excellent. And they'll give me a few more minutes worth of work here. The ability to conduct, conduct a few more minutes worth of work here. 
Okay, so then we have beacons, which are on 11. Steel pipes, black powder, which is on 3. Steel pipes, which are on... 8. And then um, rubber, which is on 9. Okay, so we have... Zero, one, two, three for the uh, black powder. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is the six, seven, eight pipe. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine which is the uh, rubber. And then finally, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, which is the beacon. Take all these out, all those out, all of those out. And gosh, I hope these are all right. Okay, we're going to wait for the autosave before I start messing things up. Thank you, autosave. This is beacons. It won't reach. I figured it wasn't going to. Let's do a mid-stacker right here to start with. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11. Please. Please. I, I saw it. There it is. What does that look wrong? What's wrong? That's what's wrong. That splitter's not in the right spot. Okay. Well, let's try that again. Splitter. You go here. There we go. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And nuke all of those. That one goes. This one goes. I think you're going there. And you're going there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Okay. So now that looks hopefully straighter. There you go. Nice. They're all squaring up nicely. And then we need the uh, rubber, which connects there. I didn't check the values of any of these, by the way. I think I'm gonna, just going to go straight in there if I can. I'd rather not make a midpoint if I don't have to. The reason I did these two was because of the curves here would have been atrocious. This one goes into there. Those are all squared up nicely. And then finally we have whatever one is going into there. Which is way the heck over there. Which means it's probably going to need a midpoint somewhere. Oh, yeah. So maybe I'll keep this one here as a midpoint for it. And then that can just go straight into there. Now I need to check numbers here. 3, 30, 30, 30. Okay, they're all Mark 1s. Good. This one goes in there. There. And there. This comes out. Uh, I guess I should check here. I need power first. Let's hook up power. There and there. 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 Oh, and that's convenient. That's going to be right where the next power pole would have been anyway. That's convenient. They thread nicely through there. Beautiful. Are you hooked up? Look, we have stuff, guys. 
This is awesome. Okay, so beacons are getting made. Uh, these are getting loaded with... Why not black powder? Did I mess up the black powder somewhere? I went too far that way. Uh, black powder is stuck. Oh, without a lift. <laughs> okay, and this one goes here. Excellent. Okay, so we're getting black powder. Now we need to deal with the outputs. So this one is going here, that way. This one is going here, that way. This one's going up to 10. Because this is um, cartridges. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one's going to one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Excellent. And these numbers are all super low. Um, Beacons was two, no, five. Um, and this, oh, by the way, this is a 0.67 machine, 67% machine. We only need five. And again, I could type in the five. It just makes me nervous. Yeah, see, it resets it to 502, so that's fine. Okay, I can live with that. And then the uh, cartridge machine is one. Uh, uh, mark one lifts. Uh, nope, we need to come from the other side. Come from the lift. Down. Uh oh, we gotta move that power line. Yep, gotta move the power line. You come down into there. Uh, let's see. How did I do the power here? Horribly as well. Okay, I need to move both of those power lines. They need to come back over here. Uh, take you out. Take you out. You need to be. Here instead. And here instead. And this goes here and there. I've re enabled those guys. But this one and this one need to get moved as well because I was being dumb. And they go here and here. And then there. This comes out. There should have been a power pole here anyway. That I didn't put in. Oopsie. You go there. And you go right there. These are live again. Alright, so they're outputting beacons now. Uh, beacons go from... Here to somewhere that I haven't designated. Right here. Uh, splitter. Zero. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Delete from nine downward. Belt. 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 Belt, belt, belt. Please, thank you. I'm out of, uh, what call it again? But it's fine. If this works, we should be seeing beacons rising up, very tall. Can I get up on here and maybe see something? Oh, look, all the beacons. There's all the beacons that unloaded first. Look at them. Poking through the belt and standing up taller than the opening, I think. Or right up to the opening, anyway. And they're going across. And they're going to split out there, hopefully. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, there they are. Standing tall and proud off in the distance. Uh, 
slow as they go. Slow as they go. The next thing we're going to set up is going to be the Noblisks. They're made in one assembler. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do that during the next episode. But I want to just talk about it while we're waiting for those guys to slowly move. I want to look at how they look on this lift altogether. Yeah, so look how much space is on that lift compared to the other items like those. Well, there's actually extra space on the pipe lift, I think, between the items in there. Is that like on some of the other stuff because they're taller? Uh, those come down. And then this fires up. And we are good. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.